Well, hi everyone, me again, Mr. Master out on the West Coast. It's uh, Thursday, it's uh, after another busy day's work, but it's nice and cool, so I thought I'd come out to the workshop and uh, get on with something. So while I'm waiting for all this material to come in for these um, machinery modifications and builds I'm going to do, I want to get back into doing what I enjoy best, and that is knife making. <laughs> so, my favourite material, 1084. What I wanted to show you is this knife here that I've been mucking around with for the um, for the sharpener. I've come up with a sort of an antique look by accident, and I actually want to explore that a little bit more in this knife build. So let's get on with it. So let's just turn it off, let it cool down. So there you go. Uh, normalized a couple of times, I uh, spared you the boring stuff. So that's what I do. Uh, I clamp it into an angle iron, and it's a tip I got from uh, Alec or Alex, is it from outdoors? Um, yeah. So after heat treat, you just slam it straight in there, and you've got a much bigger chance of uh, getting a nice straight blade. So let's see how this comes out. All right, that seemed to go pretty well. I must say that this is an amazing little heat treat oven. One knife, matte gas, you can easily get it up to temperature for heat treating. Well, let's see how it came out. So, uh, straight away you can see where it went in the oil. Well, I don't know what that is. A couple of blobs, something in there. Whatever that is, don't know. But, clamping it in that, um, those two bits of angle line in the vise, absolutely dead straight. Well, to me, that's skating off there. This end here didn't get treated. There you go. It's biting in. 40. Skating. 45. Skating. 50. Skating. 55 Still skating 60 Yeah G 
just started biting in there and this one which is 65 yeah it does bite that tells me it's between 55 and 60 I'd say closer to 60 so I'd say that's a successful heat treat a nice uh, straw coloured this stuff. Those of you that are not familiar with Western Australia won't know that this is called Jarrah and it's the only place in the world it grows apparently. So this is off cuts from a floorboard that was put down in 1969 when this house was built. I salvaged some pieces from under the house and uh, so of course this one is well and truly dry. I've got the plenty of this stuff. I think this is two, about two mil. It's Perspex. Now I don't suppose it's very hard wearing but I've got a ton of it left over from some doors I made, some Japanese style doors I made. So the intention is to cut this down, put, well I plan to put three spaces in there, uh, and then use this as liner material as well. So that's it for tonight, I'll carry on again tomorrow. Okay guys, let me just jump in here. I just want to go through this uh, finish that I've managed to get on this knife. Now it's nothing outrageous, nothing unusual. It's just that I was after a sort of a, a greyish patina that is more like an antique look, as in 
you know, if you get an old knife, a sword, or some kind of blade that's been around a long time, it does end up with this patini. I've used a flamethrower on it, I've used ferric chloride, okay. I've used gun blue, um, I've tumbled it in the tumbler, I've, and eventually I've buffed it. So out of all those processes, I'm not really sure exactly which one is uh, going to give me the effect I want. What I rather think, I think I got this effect mostly because of the ferric chloride and the sanding and the ferric chloride and the treatments. I've given it, you know, several goes or four, six to eight coats of ferric chloride and rubbing it down and doing it again. But anyway, let's carry on and uh, hopefully I'll get this finished up pretty soon. There we are, primary bevels done. Nice sabre grind, almost perfect. This is ground down to about a quarter of a mil, ready for a final uh, sharpening. Uh, just needs a little bit of touching up on a 120 grit and then uh, a scotch braid is what I always do. But yeah, uh, another busy day, doing all sorts of things around the garden and uh, I had some computer issues today so I've been trying to sort those out. But. Uh, managed to get into the workshop and uh, at least grind this primary bevel in so yeah I'm happy with that getting close to finishing it now so see you again very soon <laughs>